So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the tips and tricks for joining in the round and to never have twisted stitches again. So I've got my stitches on a fairly short needle and I'm making a hat, so this is about right for the number of stitches that I've got. Having the right needle length does make your life easier because it means that your stitches aren't completely stretched out and you haven't got loops of your knitting needle. So if you can use a needle of the right length then that's a good start. Then what you want to do is to distribute your stitches fairly evenly with a few loaded up here at the front where you're going to be working and all around the needle. Now to check that your stitches aren't twisted in the first place I like to lay my needle flat and check that the edge of my cast on is always on the inside of my needle. Let's zoom in a little bit close, closer for the next part where we're joining the round. I have got my uh, stitches with the cast on edges here on the inside and that's true all the way around and that's what we want to maintain. So then what we want to do is simply start working into our first stitch. Now, some people join by slipping one over or knitting two together, but I want to do this join without doing any of that and just simply start working my stitches. And I want to do that because I'm knitting an alternating cable cast on and I want my first stitch to be a knit stitch. And also because by not working two stitches together at the beginning, you leave yourself an opportunity to correct any twists and I'll show you how that works. So let's just begin working into our first stitch. Now, it's a good idea that when you work into your first stitch, work into it and then snug your yarn quite tightly. And then my next stitch is a purl, so I'm gonna work that. And again, snug your yarn up a little bit tightly. And you will have a little bit of a change here where you're joining in the round, but don't worry about that for now. Okay, we can sort that out later when we're uh, working in our ends. What we want is a really nice join without any twists in the stitches. So it's as simple as that. Picking the right needle length, distributing your stitches nicely so that you can work easily from them and you're not pulling and twisting and working on a flat surface can be a great help. So you can see here that I've started my first round on my alternating cable cast on and what I'm going to do now is work my way around and join you at the end of the first round. So I've joined my work in the round in the last section of the video and now I've knitted all the way round the first round but I have stopped at the beginning of round. So that's one, round one complete and now is the perfect time to check your work. And you can do this by laying it flat on a surface and checking that the inner edge of your work is on the inside of your needle. Now, if you're to find, unlike my work, which is not twisted because we laid it flat to start with and tried not to twist it, but with the best will in the world, sometimes we do twist our knitting and I've done it countless times. This is how it would look. So here we are zoomed in a little bit to see the twist in our work. You can see the cast on going from the inside over the top of the needle and back to the inside here and this is a twist in our knitting. And what you simply need to do is pull your twist as far to the front as you can and you will see then that if you simply duck your needle under, the twist will be gone. You can do that because you've done it at the end of round one before you've started round two and the twist is just in this single piece of yarn here. What you'll also notice though is that now your working yarn is in the wrong place and so the final thing you need to do is to take your ball of yarn through your work so that you're now back into a position where 
your cast on is nice and flat on your needles and that your working yarn is at the back of the work where it should be. That undoes the twist in your cast on and instead of ripping back you can now just carry on. If you found this tip useful please like the video and consider subscribing. Happy knitting!